Hey guys, what is going on? I am back with another video. Now in this video, I actually have a pretty cool story to tell you guys. And guys, before I say anything else, if anybody knows how to make a YouTube banner and profile, message me or put it in the comments below because I'm in extreme need of a new one of those. So if you know how and you send me one through Instagram, I will give you a shout out on YouTube. Shout out on Instagram. And a shout out on Snapchat. So get with it, guys. Um, if you do, just that's a huge thanks, guys. So I was just going through YouTube one day, and I ran across this one channel called Abundant Permaculture. Now, this guy, his name's Justin Rhodes. I'm sure if you don't know who it is, you probably will know who it is. He has, oh, last time I checked, I think he had like six or 700,000 subscribers, so pretty decent sized YouTuber. So, at that time, he had turkeys and chickens, and he basically lives on a homestead. You guys know what that is. You grow your own food, raise um, chickens, cattle, all that kind of stuff. So, I kind of thought that was cool. I thought the chickens were cool. So, I went to some other YouTubers, and I started researching chickens. Now, I asked my dad when I was in the study hall, obviously not doing my work, and I asked him, hey dad, can I get some chickens? Now at that point, I really didn't understand what my dad was thinking there. Sorry for that dog, but nice Mercedes that just passed us. I really didn't know what my, what my dad was thinking at that point, so he actually did say, put some research into it, and then I actually might be able to get them. So, during study hall and other times, I would research chickens. I would look up how to take care for them, um, how to build a coop. I researched different prices on coops and everything. I went the whole nine yards trying to get these things. So after a lot of hard research, going to sites like Lowe's, Sears, stuff like that, I finally realized, and my dad realized the same thing, you're not gonna get a nice chicken coop anywhere for under about three hundred or four hundred dollars and I'm really not into spending that much for a chicken coop because my dad we were all so is he gonna stick with it is he gonna be able to like do the maintenance is he gonna be able to get up early and feed them clean out their poop stuff like that so we were pretty distraught about this whole thing right there just saw these ducks swimming and I thought I'd uh, get a little view of them It is so nice out here. Look at those clouds. Holy moly. Look at all these ducks. Okay, so at that point, my dad and I, we decided that we're just gonna build our very own chicken coop. Okay guys, legit for the next, like, two, three months, my dad and I went out, now this was during the dead of winter, you're forgetting. We went out to our barn, we moved the tractor, moved some tools and did all that, and we started building our very own chicken coop. My dog had an old kennel that we don't use anymore, so we mounted that up with screws. Um, we put, made a little ramp out of an old board, and I uh, stuck little, I don't even know what it's called, just like traction rungs if you will nailed that to the ramp so they could get up I mean we literally did everything we got old fencing and it was just it was amazing we spent so much time on that you guys are actually pretty lucky because I'm pretty sure I still have a picture of what this old chicken coop looked like enjoy and you guys are even luckier because I have a video of what this chicken coop looked like. No, I can't go in right now because it's torn down. I'll get to that part of the story. And yes, that is how I talked to my grandma. Enjoy this video clip. And I'm sorry for it not being horizontal. So uh, here we have the uh, so far tour of my chicken coop. Here we have the uh, barn. This is for you, Carl and Donna. So here we have that. We have a cinder block so I can get over this easily because I was uh, cleaning a little bit. We have a 
seven by uh, two and a half foot pen, which is about 15 square feet. We're gonna have two chickens. Right here, we have the inside of their um, coop where they're gonna be sleeping at night and getting our eggs. We're gonna have a ramp going down there to their main pen. Right here, we will have a window and we're gonna have a door right there for them to be able to get out outside. And they're gonna have around a seven by 30 foot area, which is about 21 square feet on the other side of the barn. So I actually spent all day doing this. I had to bolts and nuts and like make holes and oh, it was a lot of stuff. We have our uh, knob right there, a latch to keep it closed so it doesn't go inside. Um, I'm gonna open this, put that right up there, and here we have the coop. These are two hinges. I also did that and that as you know and the inside we we're obviously gonna have a board to make it even and yeah it's going great right now two eggs a day forever not forever until they die or anything of that nature so yeah there it is there's the tour Hope you Carl and Don liked it. We're also going to have a roost, which is a perch. Um, I attempted there, and I failed really bad. We're going to have a perch for the birds right there. Yep, it's going to be nice. Two eggs a day until they die. I'm not giving up on this one. And we have the two buckets, one for compost and one for feed. And we're going to have feed pans in here. That will not be in there. We're going to have deep bedding. And it's going to be all peachy. Hope you enjoyed. We realized that the chickens do not lay in the winter. And they only lay for a certain amount of years. And they're useless, so you just kill them. And... I'm really not about that life, and my dad isn't either cutting chicken heads off or wringing their necks or stuff. That's just, really don't feel like doing that. Well guys, I hope you did enjoy this story. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, and I will see you guys tomorrow with the next one. Also, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on all social media, just Nate HD. And please, please, please do not forget, if any of you guys out there knows how to make a YouTube profile or banner, can you make one and send it to me and I'll give you a shout out on all my social media. So that's a great deal. I will see you guys tomorrow with the next great video. Have a good day.